Hey guys, I was checking my Aqualand watches and then I noticed some of them, you know, the LCD screen down there on the top, the, the, the colon mark seems to be blinking down there on and off all the time. And that indicates actually that the watch is running out of batteries actually. So as you know, this watch runs on three batteries, one for the depth meter, one for the digital part, and the other one for the analog part down here. So when, when the two little dots down there are blinking, that means one of the three batteries actually is running low. Okay, so what I did is that I purchased six Renata uh, number 371 or the equivalent SR920 SW. So this one watch here running low, this one down there at the back. Uh, there is one here as well. There's one more down here, up there. And that's it. Pretty much now that happens because and it's kind of cold here it's winter time so it's getting cold um, so that exhausts the battery very quick quickly the low temperature so I'm gonna change out the batteries and see what happens there here I removed the case back of one of the watches the Aqualands and I removed as well one of the batteries here the one at the bottom um, Here's a battery. Okay, so let me put the watch away for a minute. But then we're gonna test this battery against a brand new Renata. So let's see what happens there. And I do have here an old tester. So this instrument actually measures uh, the voltage, but also the current. Um, so I'm gonna set the tester to 500 milliampere direct current, so DC, okay? Obviously, what you got here is DC, like a direct current, not not alternating current, like the one you get from actually the wall plug. So this is the old battery. Uh, I can tell you, oops, let me. So we get 50 milliampere, 50 milliampere down there. I don't know if you can see that, so. That's the old one. Ah, 50. What about the new one? So let's test the new one out and see what we get down there. We get around two milliampere. There you have it. See, so that one's running uh, out of power. So I'm gonna put it aside. Now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna repeat the same operation with the other two batteries. And we're gonna choose the one with the lowest charge actually out of the three. So there we have the old one, you know, the uh, one of the batteries from the watch. And here we have the third one. These are energizer batteries down there. Again, I shouldn't be using um, steel tweezers, but I don't have anything handy. So let's see what happens here. Oh, so we get a good level of charge out of this one, look. It's pretty much full charge down there. So that one's good. And what about this one? Mm, yeah, that one's a little better. So I'm gonna get both replaced. So this is the 50 milliampere battery and that one's 100. So it's running low as well. So I'm gonna put these two aside. I'm gonna get rid of those two. I'm gonna use this one, all right? Which is like full charge down there. Pretty good actually. And I'm gonna use two new, brand new Renata uh, 371. There you have it. So I need one more. Okay guys, so I did install the batteries down there. One, two, and three. The two brand new batteries went respectively to the uh, digital part and then the analog part down there 
uh, the older battery went straight to the uh, depth sensor module. The last thing you'd like to do before um, you know, putting the case back on is to check that the seal actually is in good condition. In this case, the seal, the rubber seal you see here down there, uh, was replaced recently. So it's in pretty good shape, actually, pretty good shape. I can still feel the, the grease uh, around, around the case back here on the edge. So it's, it's pretty good, ready to go there. And then I'm gonna seal, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put the case back on. Um, so remember that what we have to do here is to be careful. Uh, we don't displace the seal actually. We press a little bit down there. And then there's an order. Don't, don't forget that if you wanna, when you put the screws back on, first you start here, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm gonna do that and I'll show you the end result. Thank you. Yeah, so I basically removed the seal because I wanted to show you the shape of the seal. Look, it's pretty good actually, pretty flexible. It's in good shape. So I'm gonna give it a little, um, I'm gonna put it in, put a little bit of grease around it. So we have here, I'm using a thick uh, gel. It's a silicone gel from, I think it's Russia. It comes from Russia or something. But it's very good quality though. And there you have it, guys. Don't forget to restart the watch. So you have to pull the crown out there, like so. So you press on uh, to these pushers down here at the same time. See, see that? There you have it. Oh man, I love this watch. There you have it, an Aqualand. I still have to uh, replace the battery down here. Still blinking down there. Uh, that one as well. Just blinking down there and on that one as well. Okay guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.